Today, I'm gonna to show you four ways that you can progressively overload your workout using your TRX. So let's define what progressive overload actually means. In order for a muscle to grow or strength to be gained or performance to increase, the body has to be exposed to a new element that it previously hasn't experienced. So I'm gonna show you four ways that we can do this. So the first one would be to increase your volume. And this is simply just doing more over a given period of time. So if my workout is normally 45 minutes, maybe I make it 50 or 55 minutes to overload that. Another way is just to simply do more reps. So say I'm doing my chest press and I've previously been doing 30 second intervals, I would change that up to maybe do it for 45 seconds. So number two would be to simply change the tempo of the exercise. So if I were looking at my hip abduction, side lunge, I would come here and normally I would just come down and come back up. That's the regular tempo. If I were to change that, I could go down and add in a quarter rep. So it would look like this. I would go down for one count, come up a quarter of the way, shoot back down to the bottom, and then stand up. So it would look like one, down, and up. Almost like a little pulse. That's one way. The second way to do this is to add in an isometric hold. So I could take the movement and simply just sit down at the end range and just hold there for maybe five seconds and then come back up and repeat. Another way would be for me to change the tempo going down and coming back up. So if I were to take a three, three, three tempo, I could take three seconds to lower myself down into the movement. One, two, three. Hold there for three seconds, one, two, three, and then take three seconds to come back up out of it, one, two, three. The last and final way that I could do this is, say I'm doing my standing front lunges, is to add jumping into it. So I would just add in a jump and change the tempo that way. So the third way would be to change the rest period. So if I'm always doing 40 seconds on for the exercise and 20 second rest after each exercise, I would just simply shorten that, which makes it more of a cardiovascular workout because you are not getting as much break time. So instead of 20 seconds, I would just simply cut it down to maybe 15. So the last one that we will take a look at is just simply adding load. And this is super easy for people to grasp because all you're doing is taking something that weighs and you're holding it by your side. So that could be dumbbells, that could be a slam ball, which I have here, that could be a weight vest or even a backpack with load in the backpack. So from here, all I'm doing is just adding on to my body weight and squatting down, standing back up. So there you go. Next time you try your TRX workout and you want it to bump it up a little bit, try one of those four principles and let me know how you do. And feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Good luck.